Are you there? Okay, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put a face on my face. Um, let me just hop into my chair. Um, let's get into it. I look so pale all of a sudden. Whatever. I'm gonna start off with some foundation. The foundation I'm gonna wear is the Lacura Skin Caviar Foundation. This is the Aldi foundation brand. I'm gonna do some primer because I always forget. And you guys watch me forget every single time I do my makeup. You can like literally watch me go straight into the foundation and forget the primer exists. I really need to get good about it. This is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I just kind of put it on like anywhere. I'm not like that precise with primers, not that big of a deal. I'm honestly gonna use a dirty foundation brush for it. Um, I try and focus it on like the, oops. It's kind of like moussey. It's kind of like a thicker consistency. Anyway, um, I kind of try and focus it on the areas of the face that have more pores. So like the center of the face, the T-zone, around the nose, the sides of the mouth, and like, oh, even the chin. But like this area, I feel like I don't have as many pores. Whereas this area, pores. Not really around the eyes though as much. Anyway, that's all the areas that I really would like primer on. I feel like primer doesn't do like an incredible amount for my face. It's not like I'm like, wow, the difference between primer and no primer is life changing. But I do find that um, it just makes the face a little smoother. It does kind of even out the skin tone. I feel like if you were just to wear um, primer with concealer you could probably get a really nice base out of just that without even adding any foundation but you know we're going in with the foundation today this is um a little bit light for my skin tone but i am a bit pale right now so could work out um if not i can always bronze it up so how are you guys what's new um happy monday i have been busy busy recently i picked a big pimple under there so i hope i can cover that up um I've got a jam-packed week ahead. And then on the weekend, it's going to be my birthday. So that's, I don't know, birthday's exciting, right? Because, like, obviously it's your birthday, like, woohoo. But also, I feel like there's a little bit of, like, stress leading up to my birthday because I'm like, oh, I, like, need to make a thing out of it. I mean, you don't have to make a thing out of it, but I like to. Um, but, like, you know, organising that and, like, oh, will it be a good time? And am I going to have a good birthday? Am I going to cry on my birthday? You never know. Um, so, like, I don't know, it's a bit of, like, birthday this coming up I should really get like snacks for my birthday like I don't think I'm gonna do a cake this year honestly I just maybe I will like in, by the end of this week I guess you'll find out but um I don't know I haven't organized a cake so far um to share with my friends I'm thinking about maybe doing like cookies instead I'm really into sugar cookies and like my dream birthday thing instead of like cupcakes would literally be sugar cookies my nails are too short I cut my nails and now I can't open this Really difficult to open concealer. It's a concealer in the lid of this. Um, I'm trying to think of something flat that I can wedge it open with. Let's do it with this eyelash tweezer. If you're wondering what the sound is in the background, um, Thurs is cutting my friend Alex's hair. Um, oh, she's actually not just cutting it. She's bleaching it for him as well, which is very exciting. I'm just popping on the concealer from the inside here. Um, it's inside the lid. I've already hit pan on it, but um, it is a really good concealer and... Um, I do really rate this Lacura Skin Caviar Science whatever foundation concealer duo. Like it's kind of good value for money considering that it's a drugstore price. Plus you get two products in one. Um, one thing I do have to say though is it's not like the best shade for me, and it's kind of hard to get your hands on because like if you're not there when the like Aldi special buys sale happens and you don't get your hands on it. I literally don't know where else you could possibly buy this. Like, I can't imagine that I'll repurchase that product. Not because I didn't like the product or anything, but just because it was kind of kind of hard to source. If I was an Aldi and I saw it, though, I would get it again. I think the Aldi has some other, like, makeup products that they have, like, for foundation and stuff. But I don't think any of them are as good as this. This is, like, the high-end version from Aldi. Um, whereas they have some, like, other stuff that I just am not interested in. Not that I think it's bad. I'm just, like, more interested in this one than the other, um foundations that they offer i'm trying to use it up though because it's not going to work for me in summer um so i should make the most of it in winter before i can't use it again hopefully i'll use it up before the summer hits but if i don't maybe i'll just keep it for next winter who knows i'm just powdering my face um quite decently actually i'm quite going in for it and this is the nude by nature setting powder this is called the Natural Mineral Cover Radiant Loose Powder Foundation in the shade W1 Light, which means warm one light. It's like the lightest warm shade that they have. Good shade. It's a bit, um, bit yellowy looking, honestly. Like, it looks like it's like a more neutral yellow 
powder and it does provide a decent amount of coverage um, which is why I layer it over this one because this is a bit light this is like more like my skin tone together it kind of evens out a little better and doesn't look too crazy on my skin anyway let's go in with some bronzer today's look that I'm going to try and go for is going to be a little bit more of like a another bronzy mermaid look honestly that's what I'm really obsessed with at the moment I'm going to go in with the um Becca bronzer again because I love it this is the shade bronze bondi looks like this and I'm going to grab my hula brush from benefit and just bronze up the cheeks I feel like this is a really good bronzer it works for my skin tone and I like the undertones so I rate it it's also quite a popular bronzer I know that Becca no longer exists but um it was popular for a reason like I saw so many people on YouTube using it for so long before I finally took the plunge myself. I'm so glad that I did. I really like bronzing, so when I bronze the face, I kind of contour and bronze with just the one product. Um, it's first of all easier than going in with like contour and then going in over the top with bronzer in like the different areas. Um, and it kind of makes you look contoured and bronzed and like it's just a bit of an all-in-one and it warms up the face in the way that I like. So I always go for a bronzer, honestly. I know that like bronzing and contouring are two separate things. Um, but I just prefer this technique on myself personally. And honestly, most time I do people's makeup, I bronzer. Um, so contouring, if you don't know, is like more like of a cool tone product. You know, you're creating shapes and the illusion of like chiseling out different contours on your face. And bronzing is like to bring warmth to areas that the sun would naturally hit. So you use a warmer toned product and you use it in a different kind of area, a little bit higher up on the cheeks where the sun would hit you, like in the center of the forehead, you know, bronzing the face rather than like chiseling it out. But I like to chisel out the face with a very loose sweep of bronzer just everywhere, honestly. I just shove bronzer all over my face. Um, and you know, when I'm contouring, contouring specifically, I'm a bit more precise with the application, you know, really just making sure it's a bit more precise. When I'm bronzing, I just, you know what I mean? It's a little bit more liberous. Hope that makes sense. Okay, let's go in with some blush now. Um, I wanna use, you know what, I'm going to use California again. I love this blush. This is one of my favorite blushes of all time from Benefit. It's the Boxer Blush Formula. Unfortunately, they discontinued this recently, only very recently. You've probably seen um, Benefit reintroduced the, like they re-released the box blushes, um, except now the box blushes have new shades, a slightly updated formula, I believe. And also the packaging is like a slimmer version of this one. There were so many complaints about this box packaging being really like thick. Um, and it had a little brush in it, and no one wanted the brush anyway, and, um, the packaging was, like, too thick for, um, like, convenience. And so after many years of people complaining about it, Benefit was like, okay, we'll slim down the packaging, but we'll update the formula and give you guys new shades. And they changed it a bit. Um, some of the shades and formulas are, like, more similar or the same or whatever, but they did discontinue California and replace it with something new. So, a bit of a bummer for me. There's no exact shade replacement. It's not like they brought, they got rid of California and they brought in the new peachy shade with gold reflex. This is kind of like an orgasm type shade. Like it's kind of like a um, nice orgasm. Um, and they didn't bring another one in like this. If you think that one of the new shades that Benefit has come out with is like a dupe of that, please let me know. But I don't think that, I don't think there is like one that's like quite comparable. Um, I'm going to go in with eyes and then I'm going to do highlighter later. I just feel like that. So for eyes, because I'm obsessed, I'm going to go in again with my Colourpop Rooftop Cocktails. Oh, I didn't bronze the crease. Usually I like to add a little warmth to the crease of the eye. I'm going to use this brush. Um, it's just like an angled fluffy brush from Real Techniques. And I'm going to use the same bronze as I used earlier. And I'm just going to bronze the contours of the eye. Just put a bit of warmth through the crease. It's really easy to just fluff some on with this brush and it's something I do like literally every time I do my makeup. I just feel like it adds a little something something without being too dramatic. You know, you could wear just this as eyeshadow if you wanted. I'm also going to take the same brush and just put a little bit on the nose so that I don't have like a pale nose. Not that like people have insecurities about pale noses. I just feel like when you've bronzed the whole face and you haven't placed any product on your nose, um, the nose kind of like looks out of place in comparison. Um, anyway, let's go in with the, um, rooftop cocktail shade now. This is like my favorite shade right now. I can't stop using it. It's literally addictive. I'm just grabbing, um, this brush from Bling Brushes. It's the E5 brush. I'm just packing this through the crease.
I think I'm coming, I'm just gonna cover the whole lid with it actually. And then I'm gonna take the other shade and I'll do it on like the lower lash line. I'm kind of going for like a mermaidy look again because that's what I'm into, but like I wanna do it in a different way to what I did the other day because I wanna try something different. Good morning from Florida. No way. Well, it is the nighttime here in Australia. So good morning, Florida. Hey, how you doing? G'day. Um, yeah, what's the time here right now? It's 1021 in Sydney. Um, oh my gosh, everyone's watching from Florida? That's nuts. I didn't know that I had, like, a Florida viewing. That's nuts. Um, okay. Can you see that? It's it's so light because these like lights wash me out. Let me turn my lights off. No, now I'm too dark. Ah, uh, it's not working out for me, is it? Let me just turn my lights back on. Okay, well, just believe me <laughs> that rooftop cocktails is now on my eyes and they are shimmery and they have this like loosely swept over them. Um, but like it's a natural vibe. I'm now going to go in with the color. I know this is a bit of color, but this is like the pop. This is um, from the ColourPop Disney Princesses um, Ultimate Princess Celebration collaboration. It has a little seashell on the front because it is Ariel's shade called Under the Sea. And I'm just gonna grab a little brush. This one looks perfect. And I'm just going to drag this on the angled brush. It's like an angled liner brush along the lower lash line. So I feel like these two shades work really well with each other. The, um, this one and this one work really well with each other because this one is kind of like a um, blue-brown pigment in that like it has reflex of a shade that's very similar to this in it. Um, but that brownie shade, it's kind of interesting because sometimes I feel like it pulls warm um, when I blend it out more. Sometimes if I layer it up more, I can feel like it looks a little bit more taupe. Um, it's a very unique and interesting shade, and I just feel like because it's so special, everyone should have it in their life. I just think it's so flattering, but maybe it's just flattering on my skin tone and eye colour and hair colour and stuff. Maybe it's not great for everyone, but it's great for me, and I always feel really pretty when I wear it, so... I don't know, give it a shot. I also get so many compliments when I wear it. Every time I've worn it so far, someone's been like, Oh my gosh, your eyeshadow is gorgeous! And I've been like, thanks, it's my favourite, it's Rooftop Cocktails from Colourpop. Um, it's a bit of an addiction, really. What I'm doing with this eyeliner, by the way, I'll show you. I'm kind of winging it out underneath. And so that will kind of, like, mirror what I'm going to have with my, like, liquid liner on the top lash line later. So I grab a little bit on the brush, and then I just literally line at the lower lash line. I'm not going in the waterline or anything. It's not tight lining. I'm just drawing it on the lower lash line. And it's just like a little fun pop. So let me just blend it out because I don't want any like harsh. Yeah. But I am kind of building it up a bit. So it's not like sheer or anything. Like it's quite. <laughs> it looks so washed out on camera. It's quite a prominent blue line on my face. I do this because sometimes I think that my camera is going to focus. Apparently not. It's okay. Going again just to like give a little bit more opacity to certain areas. Dunzo. Now I'm going to go in. I, I feel like this is such a flattering eye look as well because it kind of lifts the eye upwards because we've got something bright and colourful under there. It kind of brings the attention to under the eyes and when you smile it's really good and like just lifts the whole eye shape upwards. That's what I think anyway. Okay, now we're going to go in with... We should do highlighter first and then I'll do liquid liner after. Um, what highlighter will I go for? I want to switch it up, honestly. I'm going to use this one. This is the Bonnie Luminizer from the Balm. The reason I'm using this is because it's a beautiful golden tone. It's not like true gold. Um, like true gold would be like, you know, Fenty Trophy Wife. But it has like that, it's like a champagne, but more of a golden warm champagne. Um, and this has like a gold reflect to it. And so I feel like these will flatter each other nicely. And this has like a blue ref... Um, wait, let me show you. This is like a blue shade, right? And this has the blue reflect to it. But this also has a bit of warmth to it. It's got a bit of pink through it. So like, I feel like these two work together as well. This is stunning. Love you. Okay. <clears throat> Since you guys are all from Florida, what is the weather like in Florida recently? Are Florida people, are people who live in Florida called Floridian, Floridians? 
like how we're okay so because i live in sydney i'm a sydney cider right because i i reside in sydney are you a floridian if you live in florida or did i just make that word up off the top of my head you know me i won't be sad okay i'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on now where i really want to have a lozenger i've had an itchy throat recently i haven't been feeling like sick sick like under the weather sick um i think it's just from like air conditioning and stuff but my throat has just been, been a little a little scratchy i'm gonna while i apply the highlighter you can watch while i I'm trying to get it to focus. It's a nude by nature brush and it's called the Tempered Blending Brush. So I hate speaking with my mouth full, but I really need the lozenger right now. So bear with me. I'm accentuating it more in the inner corner and just kind of dusting it over the front of the eyelid. I'm not making it too intense at the eyelid because I don't want to detract from the rooftop cocktail shade. There we go. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to go with the eyeliner. This is the ColourPop BFF Liquid Liner. I'm just going to follow along the line that we made earlier. Oh, kind of didn't come out as strong as I wanted it to. Do you see that? It's skipping. Mm, not too happy about that. I honestly haven't had a lot of problem with this eyeliner skipping before. So I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. And I think maybe it's just covered in product from last time I used it. It's probably what happened. Sometimes... When my eyeliner is skipping, it's not necessarily the eyeliner because usually you've seen me do my eyeliner a million times, right? Like usually that's not what the issue is. A lot of the time it's just because I have like, you know, a bunch of like eyeshadow and foundation and gunk stuck on the liner pen and it's like clogging it up. Yeah, see, no longer skipping. Beautiful. There we go. Much more opaque, stunner. I'm going to do the entire wing because that's what I always like to do. There we go. And then I'm just going to fill in the lash line as well because I don't like to see gaps. Um, but yeah, what is the weather like in Florida, guys? If you're in Florida still. Um... In Sydney today, the weather was it was okay. It was sunny in the morning and then it got kind of cloudy towards the end. I don't think it rained. Well, it didn't rain on me when I went out, but like it's been a bit of like a lame weather day. Right now it's nighttime, so it's just dark out. Eyeliner done. Let's do the other side. I did quite a large wing, and so I want to replicate that. That was pretty good. Mm, I feel like that could go a little bit more uppy. Oh, 
Oh, now that I've cleaned my liner brush, like the actual tip of it isn't covered in like eyeshadow and stuff anymore. It's so easy to use. It's just gliding on. It's performing like a breeze. I'm so happy about that. Yeah. When my eyeliner brushes, like the, when, I'm, when I say eyeliner brushes, I mean brush tip eyeliners. When my brush tip eyeliners aren't performing like they usually do, I usually just wipe them off and they're beautiful again. The only reason the, the brush tip eyeliners like start skipping, usually with this one and the Maybelline one that I like, the Maybelline Hyper Sharp, that's my other favourite. The only reason those two ever start skipping is either that they're covered in crud and I need to like clean off the tip or they're actually running out and there's like no more product left so I'm just wiping around the remaining product and there's nothing in there. They've always been very good eyeliners to me. They never let me down until they run out, which is not their fault. It's because because they have been loved to death. <clears throat> it's not perfect. That's not the worst, you know. Eyeliner, they're going to be sisters rather than twins. They're not cousins. They're like, we're doing all right. Okay, let's do a little bit of a brow. Today I want to use a different brow product to what I've been using recently. I feel like I've used a lot of Benefit products on my brows recently, so I want to switch it up. This is the ColourPop um, Black and Brown Brow Color Pomade. I'm just dipping in with my Morphe M165 brush, and I'm going to draw on the tail of the brow. So I'm going to start from the top of the arch of the brow and just draw a line straight downwards. And I'm going to go on the top of the arch of the brow. And again, taking the brow, I kind of stamp it down and use it to guide the brush downwards, um, kind of following the top of the shape of the brow. Then I take the remainder of the product on the brush and I use that to fill in the tail of the brow because there's still a decent amount of product on there. The stuff is quite pigmented, even though it's kind of like a waxier pomade. It's not as waxy as some of the Benefit pomades that I've been working with recently. It has a bit of pigment to it. So I fill in the tail of the brow and then I use the remaining product on the brow brush and just work my way through the front of the brow and this kind of gives it that ombre effect that I'm looking for with the tail of the brow being the most opaque and the front of the brow kind of fading out. You can kind of manipulate it like to look the way you want it. Here there's a bit more of a gap so I'm going to colour in here more and I always have a bit of a gap right here on this brow and so that fills it in nicely. <coughs> Now today, I would like, sorry about my coughing, I would like to go in with the Colourpop um, Brow Gel. This is the Colourpop Brow Boss Gel in the shade Dark Brown. I'm going to sweep this through the brows. First of all, I go in an upwards motion so all my brow hairs are sticking up. You know how I don't like the um, feathered brow trend? The other day I found out my boyfriend also doesn't like the feathered brow trend. I was like, that's so funny that we both don't like it. Um... Because usually we have very different tastes, so it's, it was like, oh my gosh, for once we have like a similar makeup thing we're into. Not that he does his own makeup, but like, he appreciates when I do my makeup. He's like, oh, I like that you have purple eyes today, funky, and I'm like, thanks, Will. That's the kind of vibe. He's not that invested in it, though. Sometimes he just likes when I have no makeup on, because, um... Not that he like has a preference of like Emily with makeup or Emily without because you know as much as you might be like oh he should he should love you without makeup Emily with makeup is like me 99% of the time anyway so it's kind of like if he didn't like me wearing makeup he's not gonna like me most of the time um so yeah he does appreciate my makeup but um the only thing that he has against it is he doesn't like getting my makeup all over his clothes which is very much fair enough so um yeah if we're like just snuggling on the couch and just like I don't know, hanging out or something, watching Friends, that's what we've been doing recently. Um, maybe I'll take my face off so that when I like, lean on him, I don't get a big stripe of highlighter on his clothes. I feel bad when I do that. Okay, so, sometimes I say you're welcome though, and he's like, okay, I guess. Um, that's what it looks like. See how it's got like that little line under, without being too much, it's like a very subtle bit of a pop of colour. I really like this look. I'm going to do some mascara this mascara that i've been using for ages the heroin make volume and curl advanced film mascara is running out let's try it today oh see nothing's even coming off the brush let's really scrape out the inside of the tube i reckon this is all dry yeah it's like nothing is coming out i mean you can see some of it on camera because it's like it's better than nothing like but it's very minimal no i really need to retire this 
it's way too dried up. Oh, I hate that I have to retire this. It was such a good mascara. Should I just really work it today? No, I'm going to layer it. It's too hard. I. This is the official last use. I'm not going to use it off camera even. I'll offer it to my sister if she wants to like use a dried up mascara, but it's actually dried up. So RIP. Lucky I have a replacement. It's the Heroin Make Advanced Film Mascara in the Long and Curl. See, this one was the Volume and Curl. This was the Long and Curl. So, length, here we come. I can hear Thursa talking about how we're going to cheer nationals together, and she's going to be bald. As you guys may know, my sister is a hairdresser, and the world's greatest shave is coming up. And my sister's going to be doing a fundraiser for the world's greatest shave, which if you're in another country, you might not know about it, but I feel like most Australians know about it. Um, it's like Canteen is an Australian, um, like cancer foundation and you raise money by like shaving your head. And like, it's a very like popular charity here. Like a lot of people know about it, but yeah, my sister's doing it with Canteen and she's going to, um, shave her head for cancer in, I can't remember what she's doing. It's in, it's in the next month, I think. Um, but yeah, she's talking about how we're going to nationals for cheer. And my sister's joined my cheer team, Swifts, recently. And she's going to go to nationals bald. Because her hair's not going to be growing back between September and November. You know, there's like two months there. So she's going to be an egg at cheer nationals. But she's been thinking maybe she should get like, like some sort of wig situation for nationals. Because, you know, it would be nice to have a big head of hair for a cheer comp because I like to have hair because it looks it looks great in my cheer pictures and stuff and it's it's fun you can like you know I like having hair personally but I like totally respect why she's doing it um maybe we can work out a solution for her national situation or maybe she'll just rock her bald head at nationals it could look really good too or we could like I don't know I was thinking maybe we could get creative and like you know how she'll have like a little bit of hair we could like bleach the whole thing and do a color or something to match the gym. I know it's kind of like tacky to like, I don't know, some people think it's tacky to like match your hair color to your like cheer gym's color. I like it. I, <laughs> I'm i into that. Um, so I might like egg her on to match our cheer gym's colors for nationals. We'll see what happens. Anyway, this is the completed face. Sorry, that was like a bit of a tangent, but I can hear her laughing about how she might be bald for nationals. She'd pull it off either way. Uh, well, you'll see how it ends up by the end of this year. You know, if she ends up wearing a wig of sorts. I just don't think the wig's going to work because cheer. Like, I could just imagine the wig flying right off. I'm sure she'd secure it somehow. She's a hairdresser. She can figure it out. But anyway, let's do a lip gloss. Oh, I know what lip gloss I want to wear. Okay, I want to do a lip liner and a lip gloss. So the lip liner I want to wear is BFF, not this one. This is Bound. I want BFF from Colourpop. I'm really into that one. It's like my favourite right now, honestly. This is Brink. Ugh, two really good ones from Colourpop. Honestly, my other favourites. But I'm looking for one specifically. Oh, the Kendall collab one looks nice. Honestly, all of my um, lip liners are all from Kylie... Oops. They're all from Kylie Cosmetics or um, Colourpop. And as you know, Kylie used to make her cosmetics um, with Seed Cosmetics as well. So, like... They're all the same parent company. And so all my lip liners, honestly, are in, like, very similar packages. So I'm trying to move for... Ah, uh, well, I guess I've lost it. It's probably hiding in some handbag somewhere. Oh, that's annoying. I really wanted to wear it today. That's okay. We'll go with this one. This one's from KKW Beauty, and it is in the shade... Nude 1.5. I'm not going to overline a huge amount, just because... I don't know, I don't feel like it today. I'll do just a little bit. I'm excited to like finish my makeup and go out and see what she's done to Alex's hair. Because she is going to bleach him blonde, 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 like true bleached could be quite a transformation. Okay, so I've done kind of like the top of the cupid's bow, and now I'm going to trace down the sides. There we go. I'm going to colour in the two sides. 
and not the center of the lip. I'm doing this rubbing motion just so it kind of has a little bit more of a seamless edge. It's a little bit blended. Honestly, it's not going to get that blended though because um, it's, it's just lip liner. It's just a little bit stiff. And this is a lip gloss I'm going to use. This is my favorite one. Um, I don't know why I needed to check the shade name. It's a bit of a habit, but of course this is over the top from Dose of Colors. This collaboration they did with Desi and Katie. It's just perfect. Um, this is a completed look, honestly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me take my hair out for the like outro because I try and... I washed my hair the other day, honestly. It's so soft and clean. I just uploaded, actually, let me talk to you about this. I just uploaded my vlog of getting my hair done. I feel like the clips in it are really random because most of the time I was waiting for like my hair to like, you know, get washed or like waiting for the like toners to work or the like bleaching to happen. <clears throat> I was quite bored, so like, I feel like the mood in that vlog is kind of like, eh. But I did want to like show you guys the bits that I did document, and like, I am very happy with the end result. Obviously, um, they did bleach it, and so my hair, I was really worried that it'd be very fried because like, it was a full head of foils. Honestly, my hair was bleached before, like, I'd bleached it myself at home, um, and so it doesn't feel that different, like, texture wise. It feels very much the same. Obviously, I haven't brushed it right now, so it looks a little frazzled. Um, but yeah, texture wise, it hasn't become like straw. Um, it's not like, what do they say when it's like stretchy or something? All the strange things that can happen to your hair when you over bleach it. It's not that different to what I'd already done to it. So honestly, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. <coughs> Is it flawless? No, because I did like a ridiculous amount of things to it previously. So there's like, it's pretty difficult to get all that banding out. And they did a great job of getting as much of the banding out as they could. Um, yeah, I had a lot of banding previously. Like, it'd be like, line, line, line. I don't know if it came up on the camera as much, but in real life, I was aware of it. And they cleaned it up for me. So I'm really grateful for that. If you want to watch my recent um, vlog, um, it's of my hair transformation. My sister and her friend, um, who are both TAFE hair students. They're both hair dresser students at TAFE. I know I struggled to say that so much. But yeah, they... Um, both had me in on separate days. So one of them um, bleached all my hair and she toned it um, twice for me. And it was still pulling a little pink. So um, I came in a week later and then my sister turned it again for me. And um, she added a little bit more of a root. She had a little bit of a root, but she added more. And um, yeah, it's pretty much exactly what I wanted. So thanks, gals. I'm really keen for this hair all summer long. If you like this video, you can give it a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. You know all the things. Follow me on Emily Teach 20 everywhere if you want to find more of me. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.